He has been known to talented greats such as Marlon Manson, Jahorn Jackson, Arlen Staring, and the late and great Alec Trebek. His laugh has been known as inspiring, awing, jeopardizingly funny, things that, you know, make our country great is what it is now. For those of you who do not know who I'm talking about but may have an idea, let me play a laugh clip of today's special guest, Mr. Boyd Damson. Without further ado, today's special guest, the laughter of America, Mr. Boyd Damson. So, Boyd, how does it feel to be the laughter of America? Well, you know, it feels, it feels fun. Hmm. Fine. Let me put it to you another way. How does it feel to raise the spirits of American men and women during this economic and war crisis? Well, I am certainly happy to help. Not a man of many words, but of laughter, which is greatly appreciated. Let me ask you, what motivates you to do your work? Do you have any kids? I do not. Well, then if you did, you understand because I have a family to support. A true American, greatly appreciated. How did you get started with laughter? Well, uh, <laughs> I, Mr. Glick from Hanson and Hanson, overheard me laughing out loud while rehearsing a skit for the Michael Larson show. And then it invited me to do an audio dub for a talking, and that's how it all began. <laughs> well, I bet you think you're lucky. Stars Mr. Glick was in the building when he heard you laughing. I was pleased. Yeah. I personally have worked and talked with Mr. Glick. He's a very uh, awe-inspiring individual. Um, uh, it's to my understanding that you will be appearing in the upcoming rendition, well not let's say appearing, but you'll be in the upcoming rendition of Rigid Response, is this correct? Yes, it is. Do you personally want to do anything else besides just laughing at it? Don't you think you would like to appear? In a physical sense? Yeah, of course. No, I don't think so. You don't want to do anything else but laugh at a film. Laughing is just fine. 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 Everything's just fine, huh, boy? I, I don't see how you're okay with just laughing. It suits me just fine. But do you don't find it odd or, or weird or pointless to just laugh, especially about things that require no laughter? Well, uh, I don't see how you can get through the day with yourself and live with yourself when you are just laughing. Well, uh, How do you sleep? How do you work? How do you function? Aren't you disgusted with yourself when you can walk into a comedy show or a network studio or a movie studio booth and laugh for millions of dollars, mega bucks, while there are children, children, Sleeping in America because mommy and daddy can't go to work because there's no jobs to feed their children, hence they're starving. You see, you see that? You're getting paid to laugh, little children are starving, but it's just fine that you laugh over things that are economically and socially reprimanding in our country. I just like to say that it has been an honor today to have you here with us. And I greatly appreciate it of you coming today. And I think I speak on behalf of myself and all the other Americans listening today when I say we are happy with the work that you do produce. And we look forward to more of what you are going to give us in the future with your laughter. And we hope you Godspeed and God bless.